This is a quick video tutorial of some of the special features of the Hunter Pro-C irrigation controller. This is a very popular irrigation controller. It is used by a lot of contractors and homeowners. Um, ultimately, what we're gonna do is go through some of the most commonly used special features of this irrigation controller. The first one we're gonna to touch on is master valve or pump operation. In some cases, you have it where you have zones that you do not want the master valve activated on that particular zone. What you'll do is you'll go down to the pump selection. For example, zone two, um, you want that one to not have master valve activated while zone two is currently operational. What we'll do is just hit the minus button, shuts off the master valve for zone, uh, for zone two. The next special feature, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to system off. What we're gonna do is do a rain delay. For example, this controller does not have a rain sensor hooked up. What we wanna do is have a three day rain delay. We'll go to the off position. We'll hit the plus button, one, two, three. Now we've got the rain delay initiated and after three days, the irrigation system will go back to um, ultimately to its programmed um, times. The next special feature is a delay between stations. So what we'll do is we'll put in the run position, we'll hit minus and then basically go to run time and then if, for example, you want to have a delay between zone one to zone two to zone three and so on, for example, the water source needs to recover, what we'll do is ultimately we can put a delay on. So now we've got a three second delay in between the, uh, in between the zones. The next special feature, what we'll do is put it in back in the run position. And what we'll do is, um, what we want to do is do a sensor override. So for example, you've got a rain sensor hooked up, but you don't want it to, um, we'll say shut down zone two. So what we'll do is hit the minus button, go to start time. Zone one, we want the rain sensor to, to activate. Zone two, we don't, so it's in the off position. Zone three, we do. Zone four, we want turn to, um, we want to run no matter what, even if the rain sensor is active. We'll hit the plus button and uh, it will no longer operate the rain sensor on zone two and zone four. The next special feature we're gonna take a look at is uh, the total runtime calculator. So what we'll do is we'll go to run times. And what we wanna do is know the total amount of time that we have on the program that we just, uh, or we just set. What we'll do is go to run times, hit the minus button. So right now we've got a total runtime of two hours and 41 minutes on program A for all the zones that we have active. The, uh, the final special feature we're going to take a look at here is what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the run position. And for example, we want to save our favorite program to memory of the irrigation controller. Our favorite program is program A. Uh, it comes on at 2 o'clock in the morning for X amount of time on each zone. Um, simply all we have to do is hit the plus and program for three seconds. Ultimately, the controller will say done. Now we've saved our favorite program into memory of this irrigation controller. So for example, if we have a power outage um, and you no longer have power to this controller, we can simply um, basically say our, our favorite program is, is saved. To retrieve that, all we're gonna do is hit the minus and program for three seconds. What it'll do is it'll say done, and now we've retrieved our favorite program. Those are just some of the special features of the Hunter Pro C irrigation controller. Thank you for watching.